Let's compare two popular cloud online malware scanning tools, VirusTotal and MetaDefender. So the malware or the sample I selected here is Agent Tesla. You can find the sample from Malware Bazaar. And basically I'm going to look up the hash in both VirusTotal and the MetaDefender. So I'm going to copy the MD5 hash, submit MD5 hash first in MetaDefender. So using the interface, click on lookup and we submit the hash here. Click on process. Simultaneously, we're gonna go to virus total, click on search and submit the hash of Agent Tesla. Click on search. Let's go back now to the Meta Defender. Now see there are no matches of Agent Tesla. Go back to virus total. You can see we have a page full of detections. 32 out of 72 uh, AVs have flagged the sample. Zero detections on Meta Cloud Defender while on virus total. The sample was flagged like by 32 engines and that's for two reasons the first one virus total has more detection engines than meta cloud defender 70 plus detection engines on the other hand the meta cloud defender and the commercial version has around 30 plus uh, detection engines so to take advantage of the full capabilities of meta cloud defender you're gonna have to use the commercial version not the free version now we're going to try the scan a file feature so to demonstrate the feature, we're going to use again the Malware Bazaar. I'm from here. I downloaded a copy of uh, Ghost Rat. So, using Meta Defender Cloud, the file was flagged as threat. This is the detection engine. Avira detected the sample. So, we have a positive result. Now, remember that I'm using the free version, I'm not using the commercial version. The commercial version has more engines and definitely is gonna uh, give you more flags or detections. To go back now to the virus total. And from here, I'm going to upload the sample. And we have seven detections only out of seven. If you take a look at the detections, we see we have Casper Sky, we have Microsoft, uh, Acronis, Sky High. Take a look at this Deep CDR and the core of the Meta Defender Cloud. Now, CDR stands for Content Disarmament and Reconstruction, which is the main feature in Meta Defender Cloud. It's very useful for enterprises. Uh, the, the receiving thousands of emails in a month or maybe in a day. So basically, the feature works on stripping out the malicious content from the file. Say you work in an X enterprise and you receive an email uh, with a PDF attachment. So basically, you want to open the PDF attachment, but still you are suspicious that it may contain malicious content, malicious embedded uh, code, or maybe um, a embedded macro in case it was uh, an Excel file. So what you would do if you are using Meta Defender Cloud, you would go ahead, upload the sample, and Meta Defender Cloud, if you were using the commercial version, it would strip out the scripts, the malicious content, and gives you the file in a clean state, so you can download it and open the file without no issues. So that was it. Let me know what you think.